Hi, my name is Ruby Zoom, and welcome to Big Drill Energy. Today, I'm going to be sharing my very serious review for Mark Rober's creative engineering class on monthly. But before I begin, there is a note from management. Please stop reading directly from your laptop. It's embarrassing and the viewers don't like it. Are you wearing two pairs of safety glasses? Check now so we don't have to reshoot this whole thing tomorrow. time in my digital garage. I'm happy to have you here. And if it's not your first time in my digital garage, that's even better because it means that you came back. So this past month, I have been taking Mark Rover plus Monthly's creative engineering class online. Now, before I get into my review of whether or not I think this class was worth the real human adult money that I had to pay to participate in it, I wanted to state a disclaimer. If you do or don't know, I am a full-time So I haven't finished this course yet. I haven't finished this course yet. However, from what I have finished, I felt like I've learned a lot. And to be completely honest, I'm a little excited that the class isn't over yet. Think of it like having the best chocolate cake in the whole world, and you only ate half of it, and you get to eat the other half for lunch tomorrow. That's pretty awesome. Monthly classes don't go stale, so you can enjoy them forever. And this is one of my favorite parts about this class, because unlike some other online classes that I pay for, <coughs> I can access these insightful lectures forever. And, even better, I do not have to take a midterm on them. <laughs> if I didn't introduce this earlier, because that was a few minutes ago and I've genuinely forgotten, I'm studying mechanical engineering at college. So, while not all of the information that Mark presented in his online class was necessarily new to me, I was pleasantly surprised by how much of it was, and by how much I feel I'm going to be able to keep getting out of these classes even though I have watched part of, like, some of them. I'm sorry, Mark, I promise I will watch the rest of these videos, but I need to pass over the mechanics first. <laughs> Perhaps the pinnacle of the course for me was getting a peek inside Mark Rover's own brainstorming process. In fact, it was much more than a peek. Mark, like, laid out the whole thing and gave step-by-steps with examples. Imagine that, a teacher giving examples <laughs> While I consider myself a relatively creative person, having this step-by-step -step brainstorming process with awesome examples was extremely useful to me. This is a process that I feel I'm going to take with me throughout the rest of my undergraduate engineering career, maybe grad school, but most definitely into my life and hobbies as an engineer, you know? I do serious engineering for school and then like fun stuff for me. The Fun, fun engineering. I'll show you, hold on. Regular engineering? You have a lever. Fun, fun engineering. It's a leaf. It's a, a leafer. It's a leafer. I made it. And more on the process, but not too much because I don't want to give it away. And I think this process alone is a very strong reason for taking this class. Uh, one of the things that this process has given to me is a wonderful workflow on how to pick engineering builds that are as compelling in a technical sense as they are in a storytelling sense. Which, if you've watched any of Mark Rover's fantastic videos, he's kind of an expert. The class is 30 days long, it has three builds. The first build is a mechanical build, the second build is an electrical build, and the third build, it's a combination of the two. <laughs> New lessons and assignments unlock on a daily basis and coincide with wonderful lectures by Mark himself. And these lectures aren't live, which at first I was a little disappointed. However, the beauty of a recorded lecture is you can 
watch it over and over again as many times as you need or would like. So, without further ado, past Ruby, or is it future Ruby, I'm not telling you, is here to discuss my first two builds and the third build that is a build in progress and will be completed eventually. It's also a, the topic of my next video. Step one, acquire this specific type of candy. Step two, load it. Step three, have your building partner act as a lever. <laughs> It's a little, it's a little aggressive because <laughs> that's the power. And there is your candy. I hope you liked my builds. But if not, that's okay because I like them. For some final thoughts on the class and my experience in it, while the 30-day course structure was a little bit too rushed for me personally with the other obligations in my life, I know that's not the case for everyone. I was placed in an awesome peer group for the duration of the course. Think of a peer group like a mini classroom within the bigger classroom that has a live feed of everyone else's updates and what they're doing. I found after engaging with my peer group, I was able to find some magical time for my own builds in the evenings. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Please consider subscribing. And Mark, if by some reason you end up watching this, I want to say thanks for doing what you're doing and inspiring others to do the same. Uh, I don't care what my manager says. Double safety glasses is double safe.